fossil free economies will be accomplished through electrification. Demand for electricity is to raise dramatically. In this transition, a synergic mix of technologies is required. But how can biofuels be leveraged in isolated mobile grids using electrical technology? Biofuels are attractive since they allow reuse of proven technology and hold good energy density. Design and operation of islanded microgrids in aerospace and maritime applications is critical to electrification. Let's start with one generator set using a brushless DC machine. and an AC to DC rectifier. The generator speed is predefined and fuel consumption can be evaluated. The electric power is regulated in order to charge a DC capacitor. Active and reactive power can be visualized. Then we can get a hint on fuel consumption as well. Once the physical behavior of individual components is grasped, an agile system model can be built. That includes energy management. In this example, five states, DC link charging, battery charging, energy harvesting, peak shaving, and autonomous full electric. The islanded microgrid system consists of a dual brushless DC generator set, including active rectifiers, a central DC link, a motor unit with DC-DC converter, inverter, and brushless DC motor, and then an energy storage unit consisting of two battery racks in parallel. The intelligent unit performing energy management is implemented as a state-based logic. Then you can recognize the different states that we described before. We can now see some key performance indicators as generator and motor torque, active and reactive power generated, stored and consumed, motor speed, generator currents, and finally, battery voltage current and state of charge. Insight on all physical quantities, such as back EMF, D and Q access currents, can be granted by the tool as well. The simulation framework is now established. The concept can now be evolved through desktop analysis. By adding DC-DC converters in the generator sets, would it be possible to improve performance? The offline model can be used first, proving that fuel consumption goes down. If that is proven in the system model, results show that lower reactive power circulation is attained. Energy is managed in a more efficient way, basically. If you rely on model-based design for your development, you can even generate code for the PLC in charge of managing the energy in the system. Here you see a structure text generated automatically. 
Have you got faith in simulation for a stronger development? Are you about to design electric systems for electrified transport? Are plant models the main gap in software development at your company? If so, please reach us at any time. Thank you for watching more electric tech.